What's up guys, it's Jason. I wanted to give you guys a shout out. We're in the middle of a coating job. We're actually at the beginning. We're doing a roof cleaning. Um, it's really, really important that you clean the roof before you start your coating process. Um, and it's also important that you have a good candidate for a roof coating. You can't coat every roof. A lot of guys like to, but you can't have a premium roof coating if you don't have a, a decent roof that's gonna be able to adhere to. And you need good water flow. So this roof here, it's got good slope. Uh, the water's coming off the roof. If you look down here, you can see the water's going to the drain. And you can see it's really, really dirty. So our cleaner's doing its job. We use an industrial cleaner called WAC. Uh, it's made to clean the roof first, and then your primer comes on after that. So we're in the middle of that process, getting it clean. We're gonna show you guys what it looks like when we're done. But we wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what it takes to have a successful roof coating. If you just come up here and coat the roof and you don't do any cleaning, you don't do any prep work, it's not going to last. And so this is an important part of the process. We want to kind of show you guys what that looks like. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jason from Eustis here again. I just want to talk to you guys about some uh, coatings that we do. Uh, really awesome opportunity for some building owners to save a little bit of money and, and still get a quality product. This is part of the process that we're in right now. If you look behind me, so all the joints, seams on the rubber roof that's up here has a reinforced fabric put on it uh, to make it strong. It's a really important part of the process. And then we come back with a full fabric when we're done. But right now what you're seeing is you're seeing a primer that's put, been put down. And then also you're seeing what we call our base coat with our fabric. It's a reinforced fabric, makes it really, really strong for expansion, contraction. And then we come back, like I said, with your overall uh, base coat and a full sheet of fabric and then after that we can go ahead and put our top coating on what you see in most coating jobs is you see just the top coating done you don't see the roof primed cleaned all the processes that go into it just kind of like painting a car almost uh, and that's really important part of the process and so that's what you don't see so on this particular job they're gonna get all the steps so they get the awesome warranty and then they're done they don't have to worry about this roof for another 18 20 years so I'm gonna show you kind of what that looks this is just a small section that we've done so far that's a primer with a fabric on the seams get the primer going all the way up the wall and then I'll show you what it looks like once we get the base coat and the big fabric rolls now I'm going to show you guys another look at it hey what's up guys it's Jason from Eustis Roof and we're going to do a roof talk today we're talking about coatings on commercial buildings flat roof systems that have a roof coating on it I want to show you guys how it looks, the capabilities of it, and when you can and can't do it. So some roofs, they're in really bad shape, a coating's not going to be the answer. And this particular roof we just finished here a while back, that roof had a lot of problems. It had a lot of moisture underneath the roof. Uh, we had to get in there and take that out and we had to fix it. So we had to go all the way to the bottom, take it off because it had moisture underneath and it was just in bad shape. The roof was flat, had no slope to it, so a coating wasn't the way to go on that. On this roof, it had great granule retentions, so the granules were still there. Yeah, the roof was 20 years old, but actually it had no water penetrations underneath. It had no moisture under the deck. So this roof was a great candidate for a coating. And what's cool about that is it saves the business owner a ton of money. So this roof, we can just come in here, we can clean it, we pressure wash it with an industrial cleaner, we prime the roof, we put a fabric down, we fabric the seams again, and then we put a base coat on and then we put our top coat on and then they got a, a roof system that'll last 18 years. And so in 18 years, you can come back, just put your top coat on and you'll get another warranty for 18 years. So coatings are awesome, but you gotta have a good surface to do it on. And if you look at this roof, it is a great surface. It has a lot of slope, it has great drains. So we'll walk down here. One of the things that's important about coatings is kind of getting everything. So we did the, the, the roof, we did all the flashings, we did the entire roof so they don't have any issues on a piece of flashing or something like that. But if you look at the roof, it's gorgeous. You can barely look at it if you're not wearing sunglasses. It's like being on a roof with a snowbank on it. It's very bright, very reflective, and it'll last and keep this building watertight, and it saves the building on a ton of money. We got good drains in here. So we're able to take the drains all apart, go in and coat the drains also. But you can look through the pictures as we're walking it, We've got some pictures and some video of us doing the roof in the process so you can see the stages. A lot of times roofing companies come in with a coating and you got moisture underneath, the coating's gonna peel, it's not gonna last. In this case, there's no moisture underneath, 
We had a great roof system so we can coat it and get some warranty out of this also. One of the things we ran into is the AC systems were in bad shape. They had a ton of rust on them. So we came in and fixed that and did those too. Saved the building owner some money and they didn't have to put new railings on here. We came in, fixed all these, recoated these, and then we filled all the pitch pans and then coated them again. We took this here, it was all rusted before, as you see in the pictures, there's a massive amount of rust, but it was still in good shape. So we cleaned it down, we grinded them all down so we got good metal. We put a, a rust uh, inhibitor on it to stop the rust. And then we coated them with a uh, coating that's made to go on metal that's part of this system. So this roof system here is called the Puma XL system from Conklin. It's one of my favorite roof coating systems. It's been out for a long time. Actually generations and generations in my family have put this roof coating on. So that's how I know it lasts because it's been in my family for multiple generations and I've been able to walk the same roofs that my grandparents did back in the day. So that's really cool and see them still performing. So there's a lot of trust with the Conklin company because of that. But overall, it turned out really, really nice. Like I said, there's no ponding water. And now they got another 18 years in this roof. It's really important. You don't have to sell a new roof every time. You only need to sell the building owner what they need. And in this case, they only needed a coating. They didn't need a new roof and it worked out perfectly. Saved them a chunk of money and they got a great roof system.